Hello! My friend Hava asked me if I had a tutorial on how to wrap a excuse me, wrap a sari and a shimmery because she'd been having trouble with it and I said I didn't have one but I could make one for her this evening. Well, my youngest is in his room playing and I have the house to myself right now so I figured why not go ahead and do it now. Okay, this, hello, is a Rapunzel shimmery. Okay, you can see it's very, very see-through. It's, it's like a mesh type of thing. Well, one side is nice and smooth. The other side is rough. And it took me forever to figure that out. Seriously, it, it honestly did. I, I had such trouble working with these until Andrea said, one side's rough and the other side is smooth. And I was like, duh. Why did that never occur to me to even, to even notice that? <laughs> oh, anyway. Anyway. One thing else, I have a an Israeli tickle on that actually matches my outfit. I'm using brown because I'm wearing a signature skirt and it kind of matches that too. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it just a little bit because shimmery is fairly, fairly hit my, yeah, fit my head fairly well. You have to excuse me. I don't feel very good today either. So I'm going to just... Go ahead, I'm gonna leave a little bit of the pink showing, I think. Mm, not enough, there we go. Is that better? Yes, that's better. The whole back is covered now. But I fold it and I put the grippy part, I have to put the grippy part underneath because the sari's pretty much going to grip fairly well on it anyway, especially where I folded it like that. See? You can hear it. At least I can hear it. You know, it's on my head, I guess I can hear it. <laughs> and I usually tie one end short, one end long. Oh, this part always drives me crazy. Every single scarf I tie, I always end up tying that one little bump right back there. It drives me crazy. And I chose this sari because it's got browns and reds and pinks in it. And it's got this one little panel here that has it's really lovely pink and it matches my shirt fairly well so I figured I would use that one and let me see where it, here it is I always make sure that my sorry lines are towards the front if I can help it and I just pull out the one that I want to lay next to my head that uh, I want to highlight there and just there there we go just tie it underneath it. I'm not doing anything fancy right now because I really don't feel very good. <laughs> and then I just do my up and over. And I've noticed one thing too. For me, it's very, very difficult to wrap a lot of different things because my glasses. It's not that the glasses make it hard to wrap but it's that the glasses make it hard to see. I've got horrible, horrible eyes. Like legally blind kind of eyes, you know? So it's, it's very difficult to see on occasion. I will take like five or six pictures. No, I don't like that and fix it to where I actually like it. Okay, now I've got this other side and I'm not gonna bother folding it into one particular piece. I'm just going to take it up over the top this piece I think I'll tie down here. Maybe not with this piece, but I'll tie it with the shimmery and see if I can come up with something new and interesting. And I'll just take the shimmery piece up and tuck it in wherever I can find a spot. I hope it looks okay. I can't see anything else. <laughs> no mirrors. So I really, and I can't turn my head far enough to see out of the corners of my eyes, thanks to my messed up back. <laughs> but, um, Kava, I hope that that helped you. I mean, um, it's really simple. All you have to do with the shimmer is just remember that there's a grippy side. It's just like, um, oh, it's just like some of the, um, like the velvet headband, but it's not velvet. It's that weird meshy fabric. I, I don't quite know what it is. Do you hear thumping? That's Xander in there stomping. He's watching Penguins of Madagascar. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's how I do the uh, a shimmery and a sari. And it actually looks kind of good. I, th I think I like that. <laughs> I think I like that combination. I think I'm going to keep that.
Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye.